Hello people of the internet, welcome back. In this video I'm going to be talking about perfume. So um, I'm kind of, I was looking for perfume recently as I've, I've kind of recently I've decided I want to kind of get into it more because all I've been doing for the past several years have been waiting till my mum gets me something for like my birthday or Christmas then just wearing that but I've never really got into it because I think my mum's taste in perfume is very different from mine um well not super different but like different enough um she likes really kind of fresh fresh perfumes which sometimes to me smell a bit cleaning producty I think I've done too many cleaning pro cleaning jobs for that but we were last weekend we were in um I'm not gonna say where but I, it was with my extended family and my cousin's girlfriend she had this perfume and it was so it smelled so good and I was like what is it and she told me it was Valentino um, Donna Born in Roma was the name of this perfume. And I was like, mm, that's really nice. So I was like, oh, I'll look up how much that is, see if I can get some. Very expensive. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't really justify that. Um, it seems very frivolous. I mean, a lot. Um, that's no criticism to people who um, do buy expensive perfume. It's just something that I can't bring myself to do. It seems very kind of luxurious and I can't bring myself to do that. But I looked online and as a person with who's a bit of a cheapskate with expensive taste, I found best thing ever. It's called Blossom Perfumery and they do loads of kind of inspired by scents of um, perfume. So I got, I instantly got the full size of this, the Valentino Born in Roma. It's the Blossom Perfumery. 474 and it's so nice it's so nice it smells really expensive to me yeah I've kind of sprayed bits on this on a bit of tissue on a bit of kitchen roll and it's so good yeah but I also bought a load of different samples um so I thought I'd go through them and kind of tell you which ones I've got I'm not great at knowing the kind of notes of different perfumes and being able to kind of describe them in a really out their way all I can really go is like I like that or I don't like that and kind of maybe say why I do or don't like it that's kind of the limit to what what we're going with here so one of the um samples I got they do decent sized samples and these are I think they were like two pounds something maybe like 2.99 or two pound fifty and um they're a decent size uh if you look at it in like comparison to my hand that's like a it's like a yeah a good sized sample so you could definitely like give it a proper go by the way this video is not sponsored but i mean if blossom perfumery wants to sponsor me like i will take that sponsorship <laughs> um but but this this video isn't this is just me sharing my recommendation um yeah really good sized samples so you could definitely try it out for like a proper um like wear it to decide if you want to buy it because i think sometimes if you just spray like a tester and you don't really I, it's very difficult to judge from that um but they're about the full size one that i got of my valentina it's not valentina but the full size one that i got that was 15 pounds for 30 milliliters they do 100 mil for like 24 pounds if you if you want that but this first sample that i got is daisy i've always been like intrigued by this because I remember a few years ago they were advertising it really, it was probably more than a few years ago, but they were advertising it really, really heavily when I was probably a teenager. And I always thought like, oh, I wonder what that's like. And I mean, it's fine. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if that's my favorite one though, which is, it's good that I'm like, I can smell because just reading the notes and stuff online, I can never really tell. So that's one that I got. I got one that, has been recommended online so much because I looked when I was up there for um it was Ariana Grande Cloud because everyone was saying that's really nice and they're like oh it's like it's not that expensive it is expensive it's like 60 pounds <laughs> I'm like oh, people's different versions of expensive are a bit, a bit different to mine but that's supposed to smell a lot like an even more expensive perfume by quite a lot called Baccarat Rouge 540 um, which is about four, like three, four hundred pounds to buy, which I am not, I can't even imagine spending that much. And I've got the sample for their knockoff version. And it is nice. It is nice. 
it's very difficult to describe sort of scent that one it's kind of yeah it's it's very kind of it's not fresh so much it's not it's a unisex perfume and it smells like a unisex perfume like it kind of could be for a man could be for a woman um i think i would prefer something more feminine than that i think it's a little bit you know maybe a little masculine for me but it's good that I know my mum smelled this and she was like, oh, I really, really love that. She was virtually online ordering it as I was, as uh, in the minute that she smelled it, she thought it was so good. Which just shows how like different people are because loads of people love that. And I'm like, mm, it's fine. Like it's nice, but it's not like amazing. Another one that I got was Idol. Um, obviously the knockoff version. And that's really nice to me. Um, very floral. Um, yeah, it's 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 good. It's a bit. I don't know. It's it's kind of like a floral, but it doesn't smell too old fashioned. It's a Lancôme one, so it smells a bit. Um, it smells a little bit. Yeah, it smells a little bit old. You know, it smells a bit like an older person. But it's very sophisticated. Very nice. And these perfumes, they do smell like expensive perfume. Like sometimes expensive perfumes, they can smell a bit like, you know, you could get something like that in Marks and Spencer's sometimes. But these, they do smell like high end. They don't smell like cheap perfumes, at least not to me. I'm not an expert in this by any means. Another one I got was Lady Roselle. This is one of their own um, Blossom Perfumery's own scents. It's not a copy of, an, of a, like a designer scent. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's floral in like a really old lady sort of way, like a proper kind of, yeah, mothball hotel. Yeah, it smells like a funny hippie hotel, but in like a, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that. But at least now I know. Now I know. I thought I'd try one of their own scents to see if um, maybe I would like it, but no, it doesn't do it for me, unfortunately. Uh, where's that one? Right. Miss Dior, I got. Um, obviously, it's not the real Miss Dior. And this one is really nice. Uh, when you initially smell it, spray it, you just smell the alcohol, but when it dries down, it's super like warm and spicy. This is a good evening one. I wouldn't wear that in the day. I think it's a little much. But for like an evening event, it's lovely. It's really nice. Which I would, because it calls itself like spicy. I would have never thought I'd like spicy things. But I do. It's nice. And my mum liked it as well. She said all of them were absolutely, she thought all of them were nice. Um, she really liked the Baccarat Rouge one. And she apparently used to wear Miss Dior when she was younger. Which I would never have thought she would. Um, another one that I got was YSL Libre. It's obviously not the real one. That's really nice. That's kind of nice and warm and spicy as well. Not cleaning producty in any way, which I like in a perfume. Not, I like it not to smell like a cleaning product. But yeah, oh, that's lovely. Um, I, it's so difficult to decide which to get the full sizes of because they're so nice. I've literally only opened them today, so I'll, ha I'll give it a few days. And um, this is Chloe. That's fine. It's a little bit too floral for me, I think. A little bit, a little bit fabulosa, which is like a cleaning product. That they do like really nice scented cleaning products. And this would be a very nice scented cleaning product. But uh, yeah, not my favorite. Um, yeah, Libre. And I think the last one I got was Fame. And this one's nice, I like it. This one's the sweetest one, I think. But yeah, it's really good. So everyone's scent, everyone's kind of perfume preferences um, are, are obviously going to be different. But if you kind of, if you know some of the ones that I'm describing and you you kind of have the same as me, you definitely check out this Blossom Perfumery um, website. I'll put the link in the description. This isn't sponsored. I just really like them. And I thought I would share this with all of you. Do you a favour? Um, yeah, you won't regret it, I don't think. Order samples, they're three for two, so you, they're about two pounds something each, but you can get three for two, so it's about um, five pounds 
four, three. I don't know, something like that. But definitely try it out if you want to. If you're into perfumes, they do men's ones as well. Um, the Baccarat Rouge is um, unisex. And if you're a man, I think this would be lovely. Yeah, but definitely check that out. I just thought I'd share this with you. And thank you for watching. Bye.